Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kartika from Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about region based segmentation in image restoration and segmentation. Okay. In region based segmentation, the segmentation may be regarded as spatial clustering. Clustering in the sense that pixels with similar values are grouped together and spatial uh, in, the, in that pixels in the same category also form a single connected component. Here we have region growing bottom up approach and we have region split and merge top down approach. In region based segmentation we have both a region growing and a region split and merge. Okay. In region growing, region growing is a procedure that groups pixels or sub, sub regions into larger regions. The simplest of these approaches is pixel aggregation which starts with a set of seed points and, and from these grows regions by appending to each seed points those neighboring pixels that have similar properties such as gray level, texture, color, shape and here in this region growing, based techniques are better than the edge based techniques and noisy images where edges are difficult to detect. See here, shows the result of uh, region growing idea to segment the object. Here the image values are represented in terms of array values here. See here. Use the region growing idea to segment the object. The seed for the object is uh, the center of the image see here see here uh, the uh, colored part for connectivity see here eight connectivity part here the region grown in horizontal and vertical directions and when the difference between pixel values less than or equal to five eight connectivity and four connectivity are shown there example a region growing based on 8 connectivity. Here q equal to true if the absolute difference of the intensities between the seed and the pixel at x pixel at x, y is less than or equal to t. False otherwise. If uh, in this function f of x, y is your input image array, yes of x, y seed array containing 1 seeds and zeros. And q of x, y is your predicate. See here uh, example find all connected components in S of X, Y and erode each connected component to one pixel. Label all such pixels found as one. All other pixels in S are labeled as zero. In the second step form an image FQ such that at a pair of coordinates X, Y let f q of x y equal to 1 if the q is satisfied otherwise f q of x y is 0. Let third point let g be an image formed by appending to each c point in s all the one value points in f q that are 8 connected to that c point. Label each connected component in g with a different region label. This is the segmented image obtained by a region growing. See here the example x-ray image of a defective weld. Second diagram it shows histogram. Third one is initial seed image and fourth one is final seed image. Next uh, the fifth one is absolute values of difference between A and C. And in the second row last one is histogram of the previous one. And the third row first one is difference image thresholds using dual thresholds. The next one is difference image thresholds with the smallest of dual threshold. Based on the application we can fix the threshold point like uh, for color image like red it is 10 means for pink it is 8 for purple it is 9 like that we are choosing the threshold points. The last one is segmentation result obtained by region growing C. How it is explained from uh, from top to last one. Okay, next one is about region split and merge. This algorithm operates in two stages. The first stage is splitting one, and the second stage is merge. Okay, initially the variance of the whole image is calculated. If this variance exceeds the specified limit, then the image is subdivided into four quadrants. 
Similarly, if the variance is any of these four patterns exceeds the limit, it is further subdivided into four. This continues until the whole image consists of a set of squares of varying sizes, of all which have variances below the limit. Squares are similarly non-uniform parts of the image. See, the second stage of the algorithm is merging one. It involves a uh, it involves the amalgamating squares which have a common edge, provided that by so doing the variance of the new region does not exceed the limit. Once all the squares have been completed, the result is a segmentation in which every region has a variance less than the set limit. However, although the result of the first stage in the algorithm is unique, that form of second is not, it depends on the order of which squares are considered here. See here the region growing segmentation of the long transformed SAR image. Second one is division. Uh, first one it shows the division of image into squares with the variance less than 0 0.6. Second one is final segmentation. After the amalgamation of squares, the subject to variance limit is 0 0.6. See the difference between the first one and second one. And we also prefer quadri algorithm. Here, first one is your partitioned image. Second one is corresponding quadri. Here, R represents the entire image region. See here, R1, R2, R3. In the R4, we have four segments: R41, R42, R43, and R44. See here, the partitioned image with corresponding quadri. Here, this R it represents the entire image region. See here. See the image here q equal to true if sigma standard greater than a and 0 less than m yeah, mean less than b false otherwise. See the example. And next one is about segmentation using watershed transform. Here uh, uh, the points belonging to a regional minimum and the points at which a drop of water would fall into a single minimum. The points at which a drop of water would be equally likely to fall to more than one minimum. The divide lines or watershed lines. See the watershed lines. See in picture watershed lines and catchment basins. Here we have minima. See here the segmentation using watershed's background. Here uh, the diagram is shown the one dimensional example of watershed segmentation, gray level profile and watershed segmentation. Here the local minimum of gray level altitude, yield, catchment basins, local minima define the watershed lines. See the watershed lines and catchment basins. It is mentioned in dotted lines. Here we have for more examples for watershed segmentation. See here, the idea is very simple. See, we have uh, x axis and y axis, we have uh, brightness and uh, distance. Same for different values first pixel marked and second pixel marked. See here, first two water bodies meet, and second two water bodies meet, and finally, we'll get the output of watershed algorithm. Here, the idea is very simple. Suppose that a hole is punched in each regional minimum and the entire topography is flooded from below by letting water rise through the holes at a uniform rate. When rising water in distinct catchment basins is about to merge, a dam is built to prevent merging. These dam boundaries correspond to the watershed lines. That's it. See the example. Original and the topographic view. And third one is about two stages of flooding. See here, the result of further flooding. And here in watershed segmentation algorithm, the immersion analog plays a vital role. Here the pixel values are sorted and this form of basis for initial catchment basins. At each level k, for each group of pixels at level k, if adjustment to exactly one existing region, add these pixels to that region. Else, if adjacent to more than one existing regions, mark as boundary. Else, start a new region. 
okay and we have another analogy it is a rainfall see the examples of watershed segmentation here watershed algorithm is often used on the gradient image instead of the original image thank you